How many people have heard that song um, by Aretha Franklin, Daydreaming? Well, uh, this, this poem is kind of taken back from that. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. You see, I told Miss Franklin, hey, baby, let's get away. Let's go someplace far. Where? I don't care. Just as long as where I am is where you are, because right now I've been dwelling in the back of my mind, tracking every little footstep I find left behind from her running, because this mental marathon is becoming an expedition, and navigation is beginning to no longer matter anymore. I will blindly find the part of my mind she explores and have her until death finds a reason for me not to have her anymore. But until then, her name will continuously be whispered from my pen through long listening light colored canals of college rule paper. Until the discernment I've been blessed with tells me the right time to face her and take her as mine. Because although the horizon shines, compared to my mind, it's not long enough. And even when the stars align, they're not far enough. She runs for miles in my mind, but even for miles, is not long enough. I continually see her staring into the eye, staring into the iris of my Isis, like little children at nap time. A boy staring into the eyes of a little girl, sacrificing his own rest so that he can watch her as she slowly falls into another world. But little does she know he is already fallen, sleeping eyes wide open, hoping to hold on to her just a little longer in his subconscious because he wants this to be. That little boy is me, and I am. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you Mind wandering, pondering over the soft feeling of the calm of her just laying in my arms Wanting to protect her from harm Daydreaming of the last time I heard her voice Even the willows soft when they hear the pillow talk we create Because they know being wrapped in the arms of the breeze cannot even relate to the softness of her embrace There is no other place I'd rather be than lost in her femininity She rides my mind like the soft sound of some thought provoking music My thought provoking muse it is difficult trying not to lose it. That thought, that last memory of three seconds ago, that last memory of me letting her know that I'm the kind of guy that'll say, hey, baby, let's get away. Let's go someplace far where I don't care. Let's get away, because I cannot get us out of my mind. Daydreaming of the time that I'll be our first kiss, followed by consecutive second. My lips have never even touched hers, and I cannot wait to kiss them again. Creating the connection of a lifeline, she's connected to my lifeline. Time traveling through my nostalgia. I find it hard to sleep sometimes without her. Too busy daydreaming about her. Look at my heart floating away. Down nautical miles of memories and fantasies, washing upon lost shores of stolen glances. She is my brain's very own shadow. Always in the mist, and my mind is touched by the light of inspiration, making the thought of controlling my mind its very own art. You should see the effect she has on my heart, beating for the sole purpose of keeping my spirits up. When she's not around, I find myself saying I love you, but she always interrupts, leaving me lost for words that I continue to misplace in shades of confusion. She's my real-life illusion, my very own vivid picture of Mona Lisa's half-sister. And I can only yearn for the day when the willows again begin to sway as they envy the selection of my arms for her to lay. But until then, I'll be daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. Thank you.